In the iOS 14.5 update, Apple added a privacy feature called App Tracking Transparency. You may have heard about this because it's caused a bit of controversy. This feature gives users the ability to stop apps from observing your activity within other apps on your device. Many apps will use this method to gather data and then target ads to you. Some apps just gather data and then sell that data to third parties. The biggest opponent of this change has probably been Facebook, since their business model is greatly based off targeted ads and gathering all the data possible on each Facebook user. But now in iOS 14.5, we users have a choice to allow apps to perform this tracking, which can allow for more relevant ads to be displayed to you. Or this tracking can be disallowed either altogether or app by app. First, let's take a look at what Apple now requires from iOS app developers. App tracking transparency must be used if the app collects data about the end user and shares it with other companies for tracking across apps and websites. For the end user, that warning is going to look like this. We then just need to tell the app not to track or allow tracking. If you never want to see these pop-ups, we can prevent all tracking from the new tracking section of privacy settings. Just turn off allow apps to request a track and this pop-up will no longer appear for any apps. The answer given to every app will be do not track. In tracking settings, every app that has been updated to utilize this feature will be listed. So we're able to allow or deny tracking app by app in this list, whether or not the main allow apps to request track toggle is on or off up here. Apps will need to be updated before they're going to appear in this list and display the ask app not to track pop-up. Unsurprisingly, Facebook has not been updated since the release of iOS 14.5. So this feature cannot yet be utilized with their app. But over time, more and more apps are going to be updated and can then either be allowed or denied to track. If you have an app that has recently been updated, but it's not in this list, that means that it doesn't have data tracking across other apps or websites built into it. So it's going to be up to you to deny or allow tracking, either all at once with the main toggle or app by app as they get updated. Remember, you will need to have updated your devices to iOS 14.5 for this feature and the tracking privacy setting to appear.